We'll do a backward swing now. So he's coming this way. Same thing applies, I don't want to be standing here. I've got a bit of an advantage with a backward swing and if I lock his elbow, it's much more difficult for him to hit me. Yeah? Now if I'm here and I'm at this 45 degree angle, if he tries to get me with his other hand and I'm behind his elbow, you can see that I can control that. Yeah? So whatever he does with that other hand, I can get control of him. Look at my knees as well. But remember you've got all these weapons. You've got your hands, you've got your elbows, you've got your knees, you've got your feet, you've got your head, you've got your teeth. Don't forget what you've got. Yeah? Backward swing. First game's the last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have a fight. Okay? Somebody grabs you and you can't do anything, you grab you in a front bear hook or something like that, and you really can't do anything. <laughs> right? I like that. It's allowed, it's reasonable force. <laughs> yeah? And if you make horrible animal noises while you're doing it, they think you're crazy. And <laughs> think, well, you, don't forget that you've got your teeth. So you've got all these weapons that you can use at any given time. You're never on a land. You are a weapon if you train properly. Like that. <laughs> That's only a joke, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Swing it in, and we get behind this elbow here. Yeah. Now we've got striking here. Here we can strike straight down onto the hip. If you hit him in one direction, he's going to come the other direction. You've got, as long as you're aware of where that's going to be, then you can do something about it. Yeah? And if we stay behind the elbow, it's quite hard for him to hit us. So we'll take that, we can strike in here. Right. Should never pick this stick up. <laughs> so the strike in. Let's press a point, like I think it's stomach four here, don't quote me, it's four, five, or six or along here somewhere. I think this is stomach four, it allows you to come in here. I know that this is a long one if you hit that. Oh. It's going to have an effect. So you could come in here, grab that, use your elbow. <coughs> slap, slap, slap. And this is the knockout. Oh. There are other schools of thought. Tai Chi, they treat, uh, treat it a bit more like throwing a blanket over the technique. So it's coming in. I'm going to use it for that. Again, it's my interpretation. It's not exact Tai Chi. My Tai Chi instructor will probably give me the ball. But it's that idea of smothering something instead of you know letting it reach its full potential. If your energy is going that way, I want you to let it. I want to let it go that way, and I might. Might push you that way. Oh. Go for this side so those folks can see that. So we're coming in here, this is what we want to do. This is called the golden tendon. This gives you a lot of control over the arm. Yeah, just that pressure there. It just sends a wee message to the brain that says this arm's going to break if you don't behave yourself. I mean, it doesn't need a lot of pressure. So if you can do that with a finger, what can you do with your arm? Yeah? So you can use your whole arm. Alright? So you could stop with that, yeah? But you could, if you're being really clever, stop with this. And that's where the technique comes back in on itself. And again, here's a strike. Here's a strike. Oh, we did. Punch in. I'm doing that for fun, but reasonable force. It's <laughs> fun, say reasonable force. Always remember reasonable force. Right. But again, just get, get out of there. The basic technique. There's loads of things you can do, but you know, it's no longer at you. You've got the time to run that way. That's important. <laughs>